This is our last section inside of Character Creator. Before finishing everything up in here, we're going to go through and just spotlight a few um, final things we can do inside of Character Creator um, and utilize some of the functions uh, at our disposal here to make this uh, a really unique part of the concepting pipeline. So here you notice that I've taken off some of the other uh, pieces of the wardrobe that I designed inside ZBrush and brought in um, some existing uh, clothing from within inside uh, Character Creator. And here you can see um, it's kind of like an urban street wear, um, basically uh, like a kind of poofy, um, like skiing jacket, something like that, that has that kind of somber punk aesthetic. It's not quite what uh, I'd go for in the end, but I'm going to make some adjustments to it. And as you can see, we had some interpenetration there where based on the pose that we had, um, even though the coat was um, uh, fitting pretty well, there were a few elements kind of peeking through. So you can come in and make um, some adjustments to the topology by utilizing the conform functions inside of Character Creator. So I don't have to take it over to ZBrush or anything like that to uh, modify uh, the topology. Um, I can continue to edit the mesh here by actually using some of the sculpting tools inside of Character Creator. So you can see here that I can actually like some mirror tolerance here, actually work in symmetry, um, uh, almost using a uh, um, slight uh, selection of those vertices to move uh, bits of that jacket around. So here you can see I'm just kind of experimenting with what works best for um, what area. So you can see one of the brushes, depending on the intensity I utilize, or uh, the size of it, I'm actually just kind of moving or kind of pushing that uh, part of the jacket up around the shoulder around. Um, you know, for me in the past, normally I would just paint that out, but for me, it takes a couple seconds here to just get it looking right rather than having to feel like I got to fix it later on. That way all the lighting's right, everything's in place. So it's just uh, it's just something easy that can be done right inside Character Creator, which I think is is fantastic and can be utilized. And this can even be done with things that you do bring in yourself. It doesn't have to be stuff that was created, um, you know, uh, or is from Character Creator itself. So you can do this with any piece of uh, uh, geometry that you bring in. So you can see around the hips there, it was just kind of still interpenetrating um, with those leg plates. And in fact, uh, it drew my eye to an issue with the leg plate that had been covered up previously, but that was visible um, here on uh, the trainer. So um, at first I just tried using the brush and then clicked out and then noticed, ooh, well the brush actually uh, pushed that out a little too much. And with it being a hard plate, um, I didn't really want that distortion in the surface. So I'm just coming back in and um, I'm going to uh, basically use like the soft selection tool here to just kind of poke it out, just kind of push it out a, a little bit. Um, almost as though we were just kind of just broadly moving that surface so we don't get as much distortion. Um, here again, it's whatever looks good from, from that angle too. So that, that really did the trick. That took care of that issue. Um, so that ended up working uh, well. Lastly here, um, we've done a few concepts with the visor up, but I do want to have one render uh, with the visor down over the eye. So I've just come down into the uh, transform under the modify tab, uh, tab here. And um, by tweaking the pivot point, I can actually move to uh, the back of the geometry here by selecting uh, that from the drop down menu, finding the center of that geometry as the pivot point and hitting R to rotate that geometry uh, down over the eye, which is great. So it's not an animation, it's just simply moving that into place, but then this gives me an opportunity to do a render pass with that visor down, which uh, should look really cool. So then I can actually go through and uh, re-click onto my render view so it snaps right back and cook that out. So I wanted to make some further adjustments to the coat um, and re-render it out. So I'm just tweaking uh, the saturation and uh, hue of this jacket to more closely align with the existing costume that I have. So rather than um, that sort of teal color, I was wanted to shift it into something um, 
a bit more in that red spectrum to match those plates on the thighs and just kind of unify the whole thing so I didn't have to make those adjustments um, later on in Photoshop when we jump in there to uh, paint. Uh, I tried to make a few adjustments here um, with uh, the opacity and trying to get like more of a translucent material, but uh, I really liked all of the the maps that were in place. So it's really just down to preserving this and exporting this out and deciding to just make some adjustments later on with a, a few paint strokes just to kind of change it up and make it a little bit uh, uh, different. So as you can see, just saving that version out. Now we've uh, kind of moved on and I've taken off the coat. I've actually taken off some additional pieces, including those thigh plates, um, parts of the arm, gloves, gauntlets, um, the shoulder pads, obviously. Um, and here I'm just utilizing some of the other pieces of wardrobe that I have inside of Character Creator. So um, what's great now is once I have everything set up, now it's now it's just dressing uh, your character in different bits and bobs and, and wardrobe and um, accessories that can help give you some variation. So very quickly, I can click off those uh, shoes. I can come in here to the um, other accessories that I have, or the other shoes that I have, and um, pop on these boots, and voila. Now, the only thing to be aware of here is that they did slightly adjust the height of my character here, so there are a few tweaks that I'll have to make when I bring into Photoshop, but they are minor, so. Um, and then, of course, uh, I figure with each iteration, I'm kind of taking... Um, pieces off, putting some new pieces on so I can mix and match between uh, these different renders. And as it's all seen from the same camera, it's just a matter of uh, mixing and matching between those different uh, renders that I'm cooking out here. So uh, wanted to play around with some additional street clothing. Um, so here you can see I'm just picking the punk leather jacket that comes standard with Character Creator. And this looked okay, but it started to feel kind of like um, elements that shouldn't quite go together with that sort of breastplate um, in place. So I jumped over to more of the uh, street clothing uh, that is a package available for purchase in the Reillusion store and grabbed this uh, hoodie. And I thought it'd be an interesting kind of juxtaposition to have this cyborg with the, the street wear. And here you can see it needs some further adjustments to get that hoodie to conform a little bit better to her body. And I actually just ended up turning off the breastplate. So sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, clicking the things that it's not, um, as things get parented to one another, um, they might just need, uh, you know, some, some tweaking or just, uh, turning off the visibility of certain elements when you put others on. So as you can see here, I removed the hoodie, jacket, um, Sometimes different geometry will automatically turn off assets so you don't have a, a doubling up of uh, geometry if it's not going to be visible anyway. So that's why I saw part of the torso disappear there. Um, lastly, there's uh, some kind of cyborg armor here in this uh, battle mech series, which is another um, uh, another uh, accessory set or costume set, I should say, that is available for purchase. And um, although I don't want to just directly... Uh, duplicate this existing design. It served as a really cool jumping off point with these sort of uh, mechanical plates and elements that I thought I could utilize and, and paint into to create something um, uh, a bit different. So this is just a really easy uh, f way to make adjustments just by simply using this hue, sat hue saturation slider um, on the texture uh, itself to get some modifications. And of course, chromatically, it was kind of all over the place. So I just decided to pull the saturation out and basically doing the same thing on this separated out, uh, uh, breastplate or this upper torso plating system on the rest of the mech here. So just doing the exact, uh, same thing by coming in here and adjusting this texture, uh, further.
So lastly, um, I decided this, this was kind of it. I checked over to the mail uh, components to see if anything worked there. Um, I thought it might be interesting to uh, include a, kind of a grunge, uh, you know, uh, sweatshirt or shirt tied around the waist there to bring some of that street punk flair back into it. Um, I just figured, okay, I'll just render this out and utilize um, that as is. And then lastly, um, to get just some further uh, adjustment or some further variation, uh, I wanted to tweak the glow a little bit. So rather than the cut lines around the, uh, the head that emitted uh, a light, I wanted to play around with this idea that there was a secondary sort of light source behind the eyes that were kind of glowing. They just give it this otherworldly feel. So I'm pulling, uh, I'm pulling up the same texture I had before, so you can actually see those cut lines. And what I'm doing is just designing a new mask very quickly, just using the gradient tool inside to create essentially what are these new glowing elements that I want behind the eyes there. So as I save this out, I'll, I'll bring this back over to Character Creator. And, and you can see that now we're getting this really strong, um, almost kind of raccoon aesthetic, but this glowing behind the eyes. And it's just something different than hopefully anything else that we've seen before in this kind of cyberpunk world. So let's render this out and get over to Photoshop.